Wireless 3D Maps is Cisco DNA Center version 223's latest feature that gives network admins a never before seen visualization of the typically invisible Wi Fi RF. This feature takes network planning and deployment to a whole new level by allowing users to navigate through the 3D world and optimize their network deployment using important KPIs, different perspectives, and SLA based insights. But how do we set this up? For the first option, Wireless 3D Maps has a seamless integration with Ekahau, a powerful network site planning tool. Ekahau allows users to upload a floor map, provide an area, building, and floor name, then add floor obstacles such as building materials that each have their own custom RF attenuation. Then, the users can place specific models of access points directly onto the map and name them based on the access points that exist within their Cisco DNA Center inventory. Once the Ekahau floor map is configured, you can save it, which creates a file with the extension .esx, and upload it into the network design page by clicking on Import Ekahal Project next to an area. Upon clicking Import, the file is staged for upload, and you'll see a preview of what the map entails, such as the area, building, and floor name, as well as a number of planned access points. Clicking Next, The map is analyzed and uploaded into Cisco DNA Center, and you can see a building and floor beneath the area to which we just imported the Ekahau file. Clicking into the floor, then on 3D, we can see just like that, a 3D map has been created with access points placed on the map. Prior to importing the Ekahau file, we had the access points discovered to our Cisco DNA Center inventory with the same name and model, but were not yet assigned to a site. When we imported the Ekahau file, these devices were automatically assigned to the proper sites and placed onto the floor map creating a seamless experience and giving you the ability to begin visualizing your network RF right away. However, if you didn't have these access points discovered within your inventory yet, you'll still be able to view a simulated access point within the map and even have the option to change the TX power, antenna angle, and so on. This allows you to plan your wireless deployment on wireless 3D maps before having to even deploy your wireless infrastructure physically. While Ekahau is a recommended approach for day zero setup, if you don't have the Ekahau software readily available, we also provide a second option to manually draw the walls onto your 2D floor map and transform it into a 3D map. While viewing a 2D map, click Add and Edit, select Walls, and you'll find a list of obstacles with different RF attenuations. Draw the selected wall onto the floor, and click Save once completed. Then by clicking 3D, the obstacle you've drawn is converted into a 3D obstacle with RF attenuation considered, giving you the ability to leverage wireless 3D maps without Ekahau. In the case you'd like to make some edits or analysis of your floor map back on Ekahau, we've also created an export option, which you can leverage by clicking on Export Maps, selecting on Ekahau Project, then Export. An Ekahau file is downloaded, and you'll be able to open the same map back on Ekahau allowing you to make changes before importing it back to Cisco DNA Center. With that said, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and as always, thank you for watching.